Welcome to Scone Baking Beyond. Hi, I'm Kathy, and I enjoy making scones, muffins, cookies, and all sorts of delicious baked goodies. Today, I'm going to share with you my recipe for apple bacon cheese scones. These scones were inspired by a calzone I had in Wenatchee, Washington, the apple capital of the world. So, let's bake! So the first thing I do when making scones is I grate my butter. I have here one half cup of butter and I'm going to grate this. And the reason why I grate my butter is I want to keep this butter as cold as I can for as long as I can because that butter, while it bakes, it's going to let off steam before it melts and that steam will create wonderful layers. So I'm going to grate my butter. So I've handled this butter. It's starting to come up to room temperature. So I'm going to put it in the freezer and freeze it until I'm ready to use it, about 15 minutes or so. So now it's time to get on with the bacon. I have three slices of center cut thick sliced bacon. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this up into little half inch pieces. It's just a rough chop right now. Just like that. And I'm going to fry this up until it's totally crispy. So what we're looking for is the sizzle. And that way we know the fat has been rendered. This smells so good. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this off the heat. I'm going to put this into a bowl. We're going to set this aside to let it pull down. That one piece in there. And now what I have here is one medium sized apple and I dice it up into about one half inch pieces. I'm going to put that in the skillet. I'm going to add two tablespoons of brown sugar, one tablespoon of maple syrup, and one half teaspoon of cinnamon and a dash of nutmeg. We're going to stir this up and we're going to cook this mixture for about two minutes. All we want to do is get the apples starting to get tender, but we don't want to really cook them. They're going to finish cooking in the oven when they're baked in the scone. The apples are getting nice and al dente now. They're soft on the outside, but they're still firm on the inside. So we'll take them off the heat. And I have a little, a little mini colander here because I want to keep all the juices that are going to come out of uh, the pan here. There's a little bacon grease in there and then the syrup and the brown sugar and I want to keep all that for flavoring the scone later. We're going to set this aside and let all the juices drain out because we're going to use those juices later. Now the bacon's cooled down a bit so I'm just going to give it a little bit more of a rough chop. I want these pieces to be a little bit smaller, about a quarter of an inch. There we go. Just that much. We don't need much. And then I'm going to set aside about a tablespoon of the bacon and the rest is all going to go in my bowl there. This is going to go inside the scone and this little tablespoon, now this I'm going to chop up really fine because this is going to get sprinkled on top of the scones. So now we'll set that aside for later. So I'm going to clear the decks and then we'll get started actually on the scone dough. So now it's time to make the dough. So I have a large mixing bowl here and to that I'm going to add one and a half cups of unbleached flour, three quarters cups of whole wheat pastry flour. I like adding a little whole wheat flour to all my baked goods and I use whole wheat pastry flour because it's lighter in texture. One half cup of sugar, two teaspoons of baking powder, one half teaspoon of baking soda and one half teaspoon of salt. We're going to whisk this together. So now we're going to add the bacon that we cooked up, the apples that we cooked up. So now we're going to add the cheese and this is cheddar cheese and I have applewood smoked cheddar cheese and I diced it up into about half inch pieces. We're going to stir all this in. So I have here my frozen butter. You can always tell when it's frozen because it comes right off the wax paper here. And there's always one piece that misses the bowl. There we go. So we're just going to stir in the butter. The butter is already at the size I want it to be. I don't have to use my hands to make it any smaller. I don't have to uh, use a, 
a pastry blender, anything to uh, dice it up or make it any smaller. It's just the right size for these scones. Just get it all mixed up. Make sure all the butter is coated with the flour mixture and all the apples and bacon and cheese is all covered with the flour mixture. And to that, I'm gonna add the juices from when I cooked the apples and the bacon. So there's a little bit of bacon fat in there. The apple juices are in there. A Little bit of maple syrup and brown sugar. So I'm gonna do is take just one tablespoon of that and put in my measuring cup. We're still gonna use the rest of this juice here. And to that, I'm gonna add buttermilk to make one cup. So just a tablespoon less of one cup of buttermilk, basically. So that looks good. That's one cup total. So I'm gonna take my little whisk and I'm gonna whisk in the apple bacon juices into the buttermilk. And then we're gonna pour that in. And now I just wanna mix it all together until it just comes together until it's just combined. I don't wanna over mix this. So I'm just gonna keep on mixing this until it just comes together. That's nicely put together. So I'm gonna put a little flour on my board and we'll just dump this out. So now I'm just going to kind of roll it around in the flour a little bit. And I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little technique from making croissants. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this dough and I'm going to roll it out into a 12 inch by 12 inch square. So let's see how we're doing. I think we're, there we go. That'll work. So we need a scraper because this will stick a little bit to your board. So we're gonna fold that into one third. And then we're gonna fold this into one third. We're gonna fold that up. And we're gonna try and get this one up there too. There we go. Take my board here. I'm gonna put a little flour on that. And then we're gonna take this whole mound and we're gonna put this up in the freezer. I started handling this dough the butter starting to melt and come up to room temperature. So what I want to do is get this up in the freezer for about five minutes and get that butter chilled back down again. Okay, it's been five minutes. I'm gonna put some more flour on my board here. I'm gonna flour it pretty generously too. There we go. So pop that over. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna pat this out until it's about three quarter inch thick. And then I have this two and a half inch cutter and I'm just going to cut as many rounds as I can the first time through and I'm going to put this on my, I have a baking sheet here that I've lined with parchment paper and I'm just going to put that right on there and I'm just going to keep on doing that until I get all these cut out. Okay, that's the last one of this bunch. So you just want to take the rest of this dough and just kind of give it a little bit of a knead just to kind of bring it back together. Not much, just enough to bring it back together. And clean off the board, a little bit more flour. There we go. And pat this out and cut a few more. Depending on how thick you make this, this may make 12, it could make 10, it could make 14. It all depends on actually how thick you actually Patted this out too. So now we're going to top them. So what I have here is I have one egg and to that I'm going to add just one teaspoon of that bacon apple reserve mixture there. We're going to whisk this together and we're going to brush the tops of this with this egg apple bacon mixture and this will give it a nice golden brown top to each scone. And then we have the bacon that we finely chopped. So we're going to sprinkle that on these are going to be so good with the bacon on top, the bacon, the apple, and the cheddar inside. I preheated my oven to 400 degrees. We're going to bake these for about 15 minutes. Okay, it's been 15 minutes and oh, don't they look so good? Nice and golden brown and I know they're going to be delicious. And don't worry about the little bit of cheese that oozes out. That does happen. They're still really delicious. So the first thing I want to do is I want to take these scones off the baking sheet because I don't want the bottoms to cook any longer than they are. I don't want them to get over baked. So take that right off. 
put that off to the side. We're going to let these cool down for about 10 minutes and then we get to try one. They've cooled down about 10 minutes. They're still warm and they're just at the right temperature to eat right now. So it's time to try one. And on this one, you can even see the apple in there. And let's open it up. And there's the cheese right there. Of course, the bacon, there's bacon throughout it. You got apple, you got cheese. So we're going to take a bite. Mm. The scones are so soft from the butter and they have these wonderful layers in there. You get the apple, you get that cheese flavor and then the bacon on top and the bacon inside. These taste so wonderful and really good warm and you don't even have to put anything on them. And I know some of the cheese oozes out, but that's okay. You can just take that little piece of cheese off and eat it anyway. Oh, but they are so delicious. For the complete recipe, please go to my website sconebaking.com and there is a link below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe for future videos. I hope this recipe inspires you to bake. Thank you for watching.